Hello, King of Bunker. How are you going? <laughs> Hello, Kilo. How are you? Oh, this song is going <laughs> to... Yeah, good, King of Bunko. Hello, Bumbletron. How are you? Doing well? Oh, hi. Um... <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys, my throat's a bit raspy. Hello, um, Kilo and Krista. How are you going? Yeah, good, good, Bumble Tom. What time is it where you guys are? What I am? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, good job. Oh, it's 604 where you guys are. Okay, so that's that's good. That's good. I thought it would be like 1 a.m. everywhere. So <laughs> it's good that it's around um, 5. Oh, that's good. Good. Friday evening. You guys are lucky because when it's Saturday morning here in Australia, it's still Friday night at your, well, where you guys are. I, I couldn't imagine um, going to and then sticking with the times. Yeah. Hello. Wait, 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 well. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I was coming to help you set up, but you obviously set up, so. Yeah, I set everything up. Oh, I killed a rat. Killed you killed the rat. rat. Yay. Sorry, everyone. Me and my dad, we have a problem with this rat in our shed, uh, and dad's finally got it in the trap, so he's very happy about it. This is so light. Oh. All right, we'll see ya. All right, bye. Bye, you next. <laughs> God. Hello, Velvet Woods. How are you? Oh, go away. Sorry, everyone. Dad being an idiot. I'm doing a giveaway on, the, on my channel. Oh, fantastic, King of Funko. What are you giving away? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm going fantastic now. Um, so it was kind of hard for me to roll out of bed this morning because I had I'm um, going because obviously I went live at eight o'clock. I had to wake up like um like six to get ready. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm going well. Apart from that, it's a really nice day out here. It's oh we're heading into spring now in Australia. Uh, so I'm very happy to see the sun out. Because it hasn't, been, believe you me, it has not been out for the past few days. Sounds like spiders. He's giving it. <laughs> yeah, my dad. He he's funny. He's very he's very funny in some instances, but other times he's just completely and utterly annoying. So he's, he he needs to work out that fine line, doesn't he? All right, I might as well get into what we're going to be looking at today. Oh, hang on. We're going to fall here soon. Oh, it's, oh, oh, God. At 3.07 in the morning. I'm very sorry, Velvet Woods. Whoops. <laughs> We're going into fall. Oh, yeah. Sounds like her. <laughs> I haven't uploaded the video yet, but I'm giving away a Funko Pop and some plush toys. Ooh, plushies. See, I, when I was little, I was always, I always loved stuffed animals, but I was never really introduced to plushies. No, in the afternoon. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Sorry. <laughs> That's good then. That's good. Sorry. Um, yeah, so back to teddy bears. I was, yeah, like all throughout me being a little kid, like a little tot, um, I used to play with stuffed animals, but I never really was introduced to plushies, like actual plushies, uh, until I was about nine. So, hello, the Superlink Gamer. How are you? Grumpy cat and a minion. Oh, grumpy cat! How cool! Minions—they're they're everywhere. Like they've been everywhere for a very long time, I reckon. People are always still going to want more of minions, even though there's a whole movie dedicated to them. But anywho, we might as well get into uh, what we're going to be reviewing and having a look at today. Uh, so. Let me explain first how we got this box. We got it a couple of days back at Pop Culture uh, and we saw it and I really liked the look of it so I just figured, hey, let's spend the money and I'll get a couple of pops out of it. 
I want them out of the claw machine. That's amazing how you got them out of the claw machine because no one can do them. Oh, dang. See, I whenever I do it, like the claw goes down and it grabs the like plushie and then it went, goes to bring it up and then it drops it. So like, I'm, good at, I'm good at getting it, but just not getting it out. <laughs> anyway, hello, Gabe. How are you? Two playing games. I have two new Funko Pops with Thanos and Spider Man from Far From Home. Oh, cool! See, I haven't. I know we've been very slack with movies lately, and I haven't. I haven't seen Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, or Spider Man Far From Home. So, <laughs> very fun. But I am really looking forward to It's Chapter Two coming out, and I know that that is a movie that I am going to go and see with my mum because my dad's a sook and he doesn't like horror movies. I oh, speaking of horror. So this big box here, this is full of horror pops. I believe that there are there are six pops in here. So what we've done is because uh, if you guys have been on my channel for a while now, you would know that I'm terrible with knives and I'm terrible with scissors and I don't really trust myself to cut anything open anymore. Uh, so what we've done, we've just opened it up here, but I haven't seen what's in it and I'm pretty sure... I, it's a box inside a box anyway, so yeah, let me just get that out real quick. Oh, I hope I get, um, oh, hello. I have to see Little Shop of Horrors sometimes. It's an older movie, but you love it. Oh, Little sh little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horrors. That sounds fun. I heard, I heard someone talking about it the other day, and I completely forgot who it was. Anyway, I think, I'll, is, it on, is it on Netflix, Love It Woods, or on YouTube? Because then I know that I can watch them. <laughs> right. Anyway, back to the horror box. This is going to be a task and a half to get out. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now we'll just get rid of this big box here. Put that on the floor. So here I've also, well, Dad has also cut open this box, but um, as the other one, I haven't seen what's in it. Uh, so now... I think I'm just gonna flick it on open and we're gonna have a look. So, are they all the bottoms of the box? Yeah, it might be on Netflix. It's a great classic. Oh, sounds like actually, well, as soon as you say classic, I'm more intrigued. I love really like I love the old movies. See, like I um, watched The Monsters a couple of nights ago with my family, and we're all so intrigued into it because. It's just, it's old and it's awesome and who doesn't love Herman, Herman Monster? There's pops of it. That might be what I was thinking of. Little Shop of Horrors pops. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, someone was talking to me about it the other day. I completely forgot who it was, but I knew that there were pops of it. So, yeah. Yeah, that rings a bell, definitely. Okay, so now that you've seen the bottoms the six bottoms of the pop boxes i think i'm just going to dive on in and we're going to see what we get all right i'm going to look the other way as i do this oh god adam grace girl turn the light on in the corner in the corner oh yeah that's a good idea more light oh oh that works yay I knew there was something wrong with the lighting. There we go. Much better. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm going to like turn away like this and then I'm just going to show you the pop. Oh. Oh, Pebbly Marsh. Cool. See, I already have her, which is, which is, it's kind, it's kind of a shame, but she's in a better box than what the one that I have is. See, so like it, with the one that I have, the plastic here is all bashed in. Um, so she was, she was like the last one on the shelf. So it's pretty understandable. But this is really good. She's in a bit. She's like got a better paint job, and the plastic is better. The box is in better condition. So, hello, bees popping, popping. I'm going fantastic. How are you? And so this is good. This is a this is good. I can um I can get rid of the other Beverly now because I've got a better one. Yay. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep grabbing, and then we're gonna see uh, what's going on. So, ooh, Demogorgon. 
How fun. Hello, Nick. Okay, Nick, so what I've gotten so far is a Beverly Marsh from It. And I've just had a look at this really cool Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Sad thing is, though, I already have him uh, as well. But I think I do have a feeling that this is uh, maybe in a better box. I'm not sure. I haven't really sit, like, had a look at my Demogorgon uh, for a while yet. So I don't know. Maybe. this is. I like him, though. I, just, I still love the look of the Demogorgon. The original Demogorgon, I think. Other ones will top books. That would be awesome. I just realized I could do this. I could paint him candy red. Or oh, oh, like a really vibrant, really cool looking color. Yeah. I like like the gold one, but better. <laughs> Alright then. Hello Louie, how are you? I really want that demo cooking. Alright, King of Funko, maybe. <laughs> maybe DM me on Instagram. We could arrange something. Okay. So now we have how many left? One, two, three, four, four, four left, four left. Okay. Hang on. Just gonna. Oh yay, Georgie! I don't have Georgie. Hello, Judson. How are you? Oh yay! So Georgie is the only it pop that I don't have, apart from all of the new Pennywises that have come out. I only have one of them. But anyway, Georgie, the original Georgie, um, is the only one that I don't have in like the original set there. Um, so I, I only had the chase version. So it's really good to see. Come on, pop culture, throw a chase in there. Yeah, I hope. I always hope that there's a chase in my mystery boxes, but. Like for the last couple of times, it hasn't it hasn't really been. But anywho, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. What's my Insta? Oh, um, so it's underscore Funko J, then another underscore. Yeah. So, all right, you you could you could find me pretty easy. Cool one still. Yeah, definitely, definitely, mate. Glitterize. Oh, go dear old pops! You've just given me a fantastic idea. God bless you. <laughs> It'd be so difficult to do, though. Hang on. Let me have a look. Yeah, because you're going to – who won the giveaway? Hello, Gucci Gaming. Um, so what I'm going to do with my giveaway, in case you guys missed it, is I'm going to wait – oh, God. And try not to smack my Demogorgon off the counter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wait until New York Comic Con is finished, which is in uh, early September. Yeah, September. Um, so I'm going to wait a couple of days until that's over so then I can do the giveaway because I think that that would be a good idea just after everyone has their New York Comic Con pops, they can come home and see if they've won another one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, every day I get I'm more excited for the giveaway. So do you ever browse on Reddit? Oh, yeah. So I have... I know what Reddit is and I go on there occasionally, um, but only only very occasionally though, Nick. But it's, it's good that you keep updated with Funko. I will have to have a look at that. Okay. So back to Georgie here. He's in a, he's in a great box as well and he has uh, – he's got a good paint job. He's only a – uh, he's only a very basic sort of um, looking pop, but um, it's good that the paint job's – Oh, sorry, guys. It's good that the paint job's good, though. See, and one thing with Georgie, it's like with his hood of his coat, it doesn't match the colour yellow on his jacket. Like, maybe not on this camera, but glitter demagogue would be awesome. All right. Oh, glittering a demagogue, and that'd be really, really hard to do. I think because it's different colors and different skin tones. Well, I don't even know what color you do that. I don't know. How many pops do I have? Well, King of Thunko, if I'm counting just the ones in my room, it would have to be about 150 now, maybe. I have the chase of Georgie. He's one of my favorite chase pops. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Nick. They did it perfectly. Like, I think that they would have actually taken like the time with him, and they would have gone, okay, this is what happens in the movie. This is what we've got to do. I've got to put my hair up. It's annoying me. 
So like Bunko, they have absolutely like hit and miss so many chases. Hope you get Michael Myers from Halloween. Yeah, Michael Myers is awesome. Yeah. King of Bunko, do you have any pops? Oh, there we go. Much better. Okay. So now we've got three more left. And oh yay! From Universal Monster the Invisible Man. Oh how cool. Like whenever I whenever I see the Invisible Man, I think of the song The Invisible Man by Queen. But anywho, this is so cool. Wait. You want sure. <laughs> Very true. I have about. Oh, wow. Hello, Ella. How are you? That's a, that's amazing that your girlfriend had 350. <laughs> Dad has about. Oh, he's, he's just recently sold a few. So I think he would have. Oh, maybe 150 also. Maybe. Anyway. So here we are, the Invisible Man in all his glory. He looks really cool. So Dad used to have, I think he still has. Oh, um, don't know. How's your dad going? And he's doing Lego fix. Yeah, but he's popping, popping. Dad, he's doing pretty well. Um, so as you can see sort of behind me here, he's working really hard on his uh, big Castle Grayskull here. So I'll just, yeah, so here is big old Castle Grayskull. Um, so yeah, he's he's basically yeah, thank you, King of Bungo. He's basically just dedicated all of his time really to Castle Grayskull uh, and getting that finished off. He still he wants to make it so that the uh, door does a special thing. So <laughs> thank you, Beast Bump and Bobbin. Grayskull is looking awesome. Here, I'll scoot it over the camera over a bit. There it is. So you can see it's on a stand. Oh, thank you, Kilo. Let's see, I'll just whoop, move this box. You can see here, sorry for the bad lighting, guys, but see, you can see it here, it's on a um, foam stand. Because we'll come out great. Thank you, Louis. Uh, and he's done, and he's like repainted it all. These parts here, they were originally just like grey. Can't wait to see it finished. Yeah, Judson, he he's getting there. He's definitely getting there. He's been he's been working day and night on it, so he's gonna get there definitely. Where? Hang on, my computer just turned off. My mistake. Whoops. All right, yeah, guys. So there's the Invisible Man there. I accidentally clicked a button on my computer and it just went. Everything turned off. All right, there we go. Looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll have to um, fill that in with all of these fantastic comments. I love being this man. I've been looking for the chase for a while. Yeah, it's really hard to find him. And on um, on eBay and that, he's, he's very pricey. So I, I do like the original, though. I think he's really cool. Chase, 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 hopefully. Well, we have two pops left. I, to be honest, I don't really think we're going to get a chase. My um, my standards aren't very high, so now we're just going to go screw it. <laughs> Hoping for a chase for you. Thank you, Kilo. Oh, cool. We have Jack from The Shining. How awesome. Oh, I love the uh, blood around here and how it says, it says red rum. Yeah, it says red rum. How cool are those dogs outside your window? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you can sort of see there. Um, yeah, I have two dogs, actually. Well, I own one dog and the other one belongs to my sister. So my dog, um, her name is Violet. She's uh, oh, she's going to be nine years old uh, on Boxing Day. So, yeah, which is really, really sweet. Um, she is, she's a Kelpie. Actually. Yeah, she's really pretty. She's, she's chubby. She's very chubby. But yeah, but she's beautiful. She's a very, very gentle puppy. And um, we have another little dog. Her name is Willow. Just going to say I can see your dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they might be over here. No. <laughs> no, they're dead. 
Um, anyway, guys, yeah, so we have another little dog. Her name is Willow. She's going to be, oh, my God, she's going to be one um, on, oh, sometime in, oh, on the 1st of October. On the 1st of October is her birthday. Dinner time for me. I have to go. I hope you pull a chase. Thank you so much for jumping on, Judson. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah, so. Dad just literally stuck his head in the window. <laughs> Hello. Just talking about the dogs. I saw this in the reflection here. Oh, you okay in the glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really, really nice here today, uh, Kilo. The, sun, the sun's actually out. It's amazing, isn't it? I was just going to say, yeah. look, there's not enough light on your back because you can't see anything behind you. If you're, showing, if you're trying to showcase a waste cup, for example, yeah. there's not enough light on it. They can't see it. Okay. So okay. where are the two lights? That, the two lights. Yeah, you know, that's the clicky, clicky, and the clacky, clacky. The clickety, yeah. Come down the clickety, and the clickety. Yeah. yeah. Clickety. Um, yeah, that's clickety. Clickety's not there. There, see it. Where's clickety? Over right behind you. Gee, you got some cool. Oh, you got Jack Torrance. That's a cool one. Yes, definitely. Oh, here it is. Got a clackety. So if you move the boxity 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 oh. out of the way, you'll be able to show everyone the googly pod. Ricky. Ricky. Yeah, hang on, guys. So here we have some more light on Castle Grayskull. You can see him better now. Stay back, pops. How many got to go? Come on, we can chase. Oh, I can see what it is. Gojira pop says hi, pop. Hi, Gojira. Oh, the red and the pop, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they're they're only stuck down with a little bit of blue tack, so sometimes I just go, hey. Who's that, my pop? Oh, the express. Oh, Velvet Wood says I love the expressions that your dad uses. <laughs> <laughs> and so here, guys, there's some more of the light on Castle Grace all there, so you can see now even like, a little bit more clearly the the stand that's on it and the, all the paint that he's put on it. How many hours do you think you spent doing Castle Grace so far? Oh, maybe four, but the, the stuff I'm doing with the door, I've probably spent bloody $120 in 20 days on. Yeah, about, about that. Hi, oh, Kilo says, hi, old man. <laughs> Don't you start, grey beard. <laughs> then you have a look at your beard. It's oh, almost Santa Claus. Mine's uniform. It's Santa Claus. What is my favourite pop in the collection? Oh, this, I get this question uh, often, and it's so hard to just pinpoint one pop. Huh? Um, I know which one. I know which what? one. My favorite one of yours is. Oh, I think I uh, yeah, I think I know which one it is now. Yeah, I think it's the custom. Huh? No, <laughs> are you just? It's the I think it's the custom Funko Pop of me that Gojira Pops did for me. Oh, Dad! My dad does fart noises all the time. It's not real. It's not real. You need to know that. Do we get to hear the he man yell again? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, you heard a fart noise, Gojira, and he's just bolted. So, um, so I think uh, the king of Funko. Um, hey, did you ask that question? Yes, the king of Funko. Um, I think that my favourite pop would have to be the custom one of my of me that uh gojira pops did for me it's amazing it's it's sitting it sits in my bedroom and i look at it every time and i smile it's amazing anyway um so here we've got yeah jack from the shining i haven't seen the shining yet but i would really really like like to but i don't think mom's there she is thank you Yes. Oh, Dad! Anyway, so here is the, I'll get the clickety clack. Here is the uh, custom one of me. Did I just turn that off? Yes, you do. There we go. So here she is. See, I've got, I've even got like a little tiny ghost there. Uh, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show t shirts. So I've done so well. I love it so much. Do we look alike? 
Yeah, yeah see, uh, I've even got my bubble and bill earrings on. That's so cool. I've got some pop of you. Yeah, he definitely did. He so very much did. Yeah, so I'm going to sit her down. All right. It looks cool. Thank you, King of Funko. Yeah, see, the, bu the Bubble Obeal earrings topped it off for me. It's so cool. And they look, they look exactly like Bubble Obeals. See, you guys in Canada and America and all of that, I love a Gradura Pops. You've done so well. Um, so all of you guys, you wouldn't know what um, Bubble Obeals are. So they're a very Australian um, ice cream. So what they are, they're just... Uh, this ice cream on a stick and on the back it's chocolate coated and then if you eat all the chocolate off but don't touch the actual ice cream there's a uh, angry face on the back there so um i used to i used to love doing that when i was little and i kind of still do um just eating all the chocolate off just so i could see the angry face and then eat the angry face and then um in the middle of a bubble o bill so for his nose there it's usually um, a bit of bubble gum. So, yeah, it's just a little round ball of it. And it's either, it's usually green or yellow, sometimes pink. Um, yeah, so it's good that you can you eat the ice cream. Then you put, like what I do, I eat the ice cream, I pluck out the nose. And then once I finish the ice cream, then I eat the bubble gum because then it's, because then it just lasts longer. Okay, so now what I think I should do. Is get that last pop out now. I don't know, have no idea what it is or where the box went. There's the box. So the boxing ball. <laughs> um, so I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a chase or not. Um, I, I'm hoping it is, but I don't think it will be. But anywho, let's dive into it, shall we? Okay, it's super heavy. Oh, Krampus! I love Krampus, oh my god! I didn't even know that there were Krampus Pops. How awesome is he? Hang on, let me get my clackety clack. I wish you guys could see what I just saw. My dad was dancing out the window. He's an idiot. There's Krampus, oh, he's so cute! Oh my goodness! Well, considering what Krampus, what you all, you did you all see it? Did you all see it there? Oh dang! <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna yell that out to him. Hey Dad! They all saw ya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh see you mate thank you so much for popping on oh. <laughs> that's a great live stream my dad just dancing in a window and everyone seeing it oh thank you so much mate anyway so cramp is here See, I absolutely love Krampus and I love the story behind it because I, I've i always been one of these people that loves um, like horror as a genre. <laughs> like, your cheeks are red now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, because it's, it's, both, it's both embarrassment and when I, when I laugh, my cheeks go red. If you want to go check. Oh, fantastic. I think I'll have to um, pop on. So is your is your YouTube channel just called The King of Funko as well? Pen, 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 pen. Oh, this pen doesn't work. None of the pens here work. Yes. All right. Thank you, The King of Funko. I'm going to have to check that out. You've been really nice. So I'll go to your YouTube channel and I'll have a look. Okay, so Krampus here. Do, you, do any of you guys know the story of Krampus and what he did? And like, oh, he's so cute. Well, he's not. He's not really cute here on the back. See, he's got the children there. But anyway, no friends work when you need them. Yes, yes, Bella. It was yes. Like you have to like at school because sometimes I have to just 
um, rem- just remember things and write them down. <laughs> and I know that they're gonna, like, they're just gonna go in one ear and come out the other. So I gotta go really fast and um, write it down. None of the pants work when I want them to. But when I'm just being an idiot and drawing on a piece of paper, they go zh, 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 everywhere. Yes, he would take the children if they misbehaved. Yes, yes. So um, Krampus here, he was uh, like a Christmas monster, really. And he would come and he would take the misbehaving children and I think he'd eat them. So, fun. Dad, everyone can see you. Such a twist. Yeah, the evil Santa Claus is basically what he is. I want to get him out. Um, I would rather actually, like, get Krampus here than a chase, really, because I really like him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's got a child. He's got a child. My God, how awesome. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, thank you, Tia. But, like, really, he's just an idiot. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's having a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> so here with Krampus, oh, I love that. I love that so much. I'm going to keep him out of the box and I'm going to put him in my room and I'm going to say, hey, look, <laughs> it's a job. Oh, he's so pretty and I love his horns. They're beautiful. All right, I'm just going to put Krampus back in his plastic here and sit there on top of the box. All righty. <laughs> yeah, my dad, he, I, I love him. I love him a lot. But God, he's annoying, isn't he? Yeah, so I think I, I, I knew the story of Krampus like when I was even nuts. Yes, he is. He is nuts. He's, I'm pretty sure he's off his head most of the time. <laughs> yeah, so. I've always been someone who loves uh, horror as a genre and I've loved, um, like, I love the documentaries on serial killers and stuff like that. So just anything that's gory and all of that, that's how I'm trying to be that way. Absol- absolutely nuts and like you're off your head most of the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I loved when I was... Like it all, it all kind of started when it came out. Cause um, when I was in, it came out when I was in year. Ooh, Christy would like to say the same thing about me. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. It so it came out in twenty seventeen. So I was um, what year was I in? Don't know, but I wasn't in the year that I was that I'm in now. Um, I think. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so all of the kids in my class, they were going, oh, have you seen it yet? Did you, like, I went and saw it. It wasn't scary, um, stuff like that. So that went around for ages. Um, and I really, really wanted to see it because not only because um, of all the other kids watching it, but because I wanted, because, like, I knew a lot about Pennywise and I knew that Tim Curry played uh, the original Pennywise. So I just, I needed to see it. Who is your favourite YouTuber? Mm. Yes, I've seen the original Velvet Woods. I have it on DVD. Um, so my favourite YouTubers, I have quite a few. Um, so Taddy Toy Hunter, he's fantastic. Go Gerald Pops, you're awesome. King of Funker, I haven't I haven't seen your videos yet, but I'm sure that they'll be really, really good. Um, Top Pops, he's been a huge in- inspiration for me ever since I even started. Um, yeah, like even before I started, I still really liked watching his videos because he was really good at, you know, just talking about Funko Pops. Um, so, yeah, I've got, I've got a, I've got a, oh, a few. Uh, I love James Charles. <laughs> Who doesn't? I love Jeffree Star. Not many. Oh, Dad thinks that he's just an alien but um, and that he's not good looking as a male or a female. But, anyway, that's, that's just Dad, <laughs> just old Dad. Um, but anyway, I love Jeffrey Star, so thanks for the shout. I really love your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Tia, and thank you uh, so much for helping Gojira put the box together. It was so cool for the first time. 
under play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop under play. I haven't um spoken to him in a very long time. Actually, haven't heard much from him. Um, but he's fantastic as well. Hello, YouTube friends and favors. Yeah, he's fantastic. Oh, I love you three thousand also, Kilo and Krista. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I have. I could go. The list goes on and on, and of all YouTube stars and all of the ones that I love. And yeah, I have a lot of love. I have a lot of love to um, all of my YouTube friends. Anyway, oof. yeah. So back to it. I knew a lot about uh, the both original and the new Pennywise because when I when I don't know something. I like to just get online and go, hmm, I wonder what this is. Um, so, yeah, I found out a lot about them and everything that I was doing, <laughs> sorry, guys, everything that I was doing in school uh, was, like, it sort of related back to it. Love, Jeffrey. so he's so talented. Yeah, yeah, Tia, my friend Alex, he owns so much of it. Um, but like. <laughs> I said to I said to him on Messenger once, how many Jeffy Southies do you own? And he sent me a paragraph of all of the palettes and all of the uh like all of the mirrors and the merch and all of that that he has. So yeah, he's he's really got it all. But anyway, I'm very happy with my James Charles palette. I think it's beautiful. Um yeah, but I I really like I love um the blood sugar palette and I also love uh the blue blood one as well it's so pretty um and all of his merch is awesome as well um yeah yeah Jeffree Star is just perfect anywho yeah so when I finally saw it uh I watched it with mum and it wasn't as scary as what I thought it would be like at all I thought it would be like jump scares every 20 seconds and like really gory and really disgusting stuff that may even makes me cringe. So it was it wasn't like that <laughs> at all. So yeah, I wasn't I wasn't scared by it. Some scenes sort of stayed with me, like but in, in every movie there's always usually a scene that stays with me for a bit. Uh like so jealous. And I will have something of yours. Yes, definitely. Oh, thank you so much, Tia. You don't have to do that, really. But thank you. <laughs> Who here knows about the Funko Maker that's been released? Like, I both adore it and both sort of went, oh, at the site because Funko, they're usually just about toys and I don't know why they just I took a plunge into makeup. But anyway, um, I love how I love the palettes. I think they're beautiful. Uh, and I really like um, the Maleficent one and the Evil Queen one from, is that her name? Evil Queen from Snow White? Um, or the Evil Stepmom or not sure. Anyway, cool box. Hello, Mountain Chief fan. How are you going, mate? Yeah, so once, once I watched it, I was just like, oh, yeah, cool. But the scene where blood spurts out of the evil queen, evil queen, thank you. Oh, thank you, Adam Grace girl. We all know you love it. Um, so it was, it wasn't a scary, like it wasn't, I didn't, I never really sort of jumped, but I was a bit tense. Um, but like, no, it was, it wasn't more scary that much. Um, the, but the scene where blood spurted out of the um, out of the sink that was that was one that sort of made me go oh because I'm one of these people. As much as I love gore and I love horror, I'm not good with blood. See, I've I've always had a fear of needles. I hate them, um, and just like even even if I cut if if I just accidentally cut myself or. Uh, like I scratch myself or something and it just starts bleeding. I always go a bit about it. Um, one time I remember I sliced my finger on um, a dog food can opener. Well, I opened the can and that sort of, that rim thing that keeps it shut, that sliced um, my finger and um, it, put, it sort of dripped down my hand here and I was like, oh, God, and I just, and, um, and then I actually I fainted in my kitchen. So that was so much fun. I hit the kitchen bench on the way down. So yay. 
yeah, yeah, I remember. And so I was, I was just lying on my back on the floor, and then I woke up and I looked down, and there's Holly. She's standing at the. Oh, hello! Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Hello, Holly. Hey. Little Miss here, everybody, coming to say hi. How are you going? Good. Yeah. Want to say hi to everyone? Yes. Oh. Hi. <laughs> So you guys, we have little Miss. In case you don't know who she is, she is my sister. Um, <laughs> Velvet Wood says hi, little Miss. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Holly. Yes. Yes. Which one of my pops is your favourite so far? Oh, you're so heavy. Uh, Rock. Um, I think it's probably. Mm, your hair's naughty. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. No? I like them all. Yeah, you like them all? Yeah. What's your favourite in your collection? Probably my... Um, I like these puppin' puppins. There we go. There we go. You got it. Um, probably my... Gojira Pops, you know, the guy who sent me the mystery box? Yeah. Yeah? I guess we go. Yeah. He's asking... What is your favourite Disney princess? Well, who is your favourite Disney princess? Me! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. There's a lot of options. Kila says hi also. Eh. <laughs> so come on, who is your favourite Disney princess? Oh, that's hard. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Hmm. See, I, I, never, I never really liked the princesses. I always liked the villains. You're the princess, I'm the villain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe Snow White. Snow White? Yes. Why, do you, why do you like her? She's kind, beautiful. <laughs> she ate a poisonous apple. Yeah. How fun. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so oh, what's your favourite pop in your collection so far? Um, My American Cancer Bear. You're, oh, yeah, you're America Cares Bear. Cool. Mm -hmm. And she hangs out with little people. Ma, she's just with me. That was just my mom. Yeah, our mom just yelled, oh, hey. <laughs> you, you need to go do garden work, don't you, today? I know, but I want to stay in with you for a little bit. Uh, mom's cool on you. you got to go. Okay, bye. She hangs out with little people, yes. Bye, folks. All right. Uh, Ta-ta. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Little Miss is gone, so you've met most of my family. <laughs> yeah, so Holly, she, oh, God. There's a lot to say about Holly. Her sister is the cutest. Oh, thank you, Tia. She appears cute through uh, video, but uh, in real life she's just, oh, <sighs> She um, she's a she's very lucky actually, little miss, because she was born uh with what's called the cleft lip. So this part right here of her mouth was just just born split, um, and throughout her whole life really up until now, she's um been in and out of the Royal Children's Hospital up in Melbourne, um, yeah, getting her getting her all fixed up and getting her looking beautiful. Uh, when I like most people, though, I'm reading the book Wonder at school and I don't know if any of you – oh, that's so out of focus. There we go. Uh, have any of you guys uh, read the book Wonder or seen the movie? Hello, the Australian chaser. How are you going? Okay, so have any of you guys read or seen the movie Wonder? Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm reading that currently at school. And like the way that like Via August's August is older sister. No, no, I uh, dang Robert Woods. So Wonder is just about um this very dis this disabled um boy. His name is August August Pullman, uh, and he was born with uh, face deformities, and he does he doesn't look um normal. And his older sister Via. Check my phone. Hang on, guys. Just one quick. Yeah, so um, 
yeah, so August, he was born with... Uh, Okay, so guys, I just have a question here. What videos would you like to see on my channel? Would you like to see more unboxings like this? Would you like to see more lives? Um, would you like to see more toy hunts maybe? Uh, and also, what would you like Dad to draw next? Hmm. I've got I've got a few things in mind for Dad. I think um, I think he would. I'd like to. I'd like for him to draw a Care Bear, like all of the Care Bears. I think that would be really really cute. Um, oh, what else could he draw? I don't know. Anyway. Oof. See, because I, I love putting content out for you guys to watch and I love going live because I can talk to you guys live uh, and it's like having a conversation literally through a computer screen. Um, so I'd like, I'd like, I'd just like to know what kinds of videos would you like to see on my channel like, and more frequently? Would you like me to talk more about say um uh, oh hello <laughs> love all your videos this slide is the best day oh thank you so much velvet videos with your dad oh yeah okay i think i could go oh maybe maybe if he agrees to it we could go live once we went <laughs> we went live once um we were trying to figure out something on youtube trying to work it out in the creator studio um and it was really hard to figure out and we ended up accidentally going live um videos with him because do my videos are the best oh thank you kilo yeah i, I think i'll have to get him in definitely <laughs> big old fart anyway um yeah so we had to, we tried to work something out and then we accidentally went live um while we were getting like, it was like we were getting ready to go live uh and then people started popping on and going you gotta go live yet what's going on and it's um we ended up just going live for the halibut and talking and smack for oh, 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so most farts maybe. <laughs> maybe more He-Man screams. <laughs> yeah, so <sighs> Dad, <God>. anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I love, I just, I like just being in front of a camera and talking to you guys. Krampus, Krampus, draw a villain. That'd be cool. And more Viking dances. All right, then. All right. <laughs> I'll make him put on that. Um, see what he was wearing. Then he was wearing my Maleficent um, helmet thing that I wore for Book Week one year. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just say, people want more Viking dances. Hit him, hit more, hit more. He meant scrapes. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw my story on Instagram. A couple, I think it was a couple of, oh, last week maybe or the week before, um, I put a story up on Instagram. And I'm filming. I just I thought it would be a good idea because we were watching He Man, and I thought that I would get. I thought I would it'd be a good idea to get um, He Man screaming, "I have the power!" But Dad thought it would be a good idea to scream, "I am an a hole!" over it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> fun. And then um, at the snow when it, it snowed here a couple of weeks ago for the first time. All it's actually no for the second time this year, which and it was coming down. Off to Zing. Oh, cool. Um, see you later, Gojira. Thank you so much for popping on, bud. I know you're there. I know you're there. People want you here. Come here. People want me here. People want you here. What for? For the hell of it. And I want a sip of that coffee, please. Thank you. Did you get some cool mystery pops? Mm. I've got Krampus. Uh, I don't know who that is. What? I'm not going to pretend I know who that is. Dad, you should know who Krampus is. What? What's he up? Krampus, he's a... Um, Krampus up your ass? No, he's a Christmas monster. Huh? He used to come and take all of the naughty children and look. He got a child there. Oh, that's cool. I know. Just look. Here, guys, I'll flick the camera over. Roll over, fat so. I'm not fat. I'm poofy. All right, get your fat head in here. <laughs> Hello, normal. internet. Internet. Oh, I don't. I've never seen this bloke before. I don't know what he's up. Oh my God, he's. Come look at the box. He's not off in a movie. Why has he got a broom? Does he clean things? A broom. He flies away on it. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. 
See, look, he takes children. He's the Christmas one. I'm getting in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> We're off to Zing. See you later. Oh, good year. Hello, mate. Tea and Velvet Woods. She said hi. Hi, Velvet Woods. <laughs> Who else you got on? Oh, Louis, a kilo. Yeah, kilo's here. The Australian stars chaser. Hello, tea is on. They all saw you Viking dancing and they all saw you. What else did you do? I did um, Maleficent. Yeah, you were, yeah they, they call it Viking dancing because of the horns. You were lucky because mum told me to put pants back on. What <laughs> that? Right, okay, I've never heard of Krampus. So he likes, does he eat the kids or does he just steal them? So what he does. Um, does he eat them? Head first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he. Um, he was so at Christmas time. He would come and he would take all of the misbehaving children. So this was just a. Well, he doesn't come here. I know. I, <laughs> I know. We're very misbehaving. But anyway. You going to Zing shopping again? You two. Wow. <laughs> like we live there. Well, we live in pop culture. You're as bad so. as us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because like, um, Gajira will message me and say, "Oh, I found this at." The mill market, are you yeah. interested? And I go, hang on a minute, what mill market are you at? And we're at the other mill market. Yeah, yeah. Or you'll say, um, we found these at Pop Culture today. And I'll say, we just left Pop Culture. Why did I about piss myself for laughing? Because I just got, oh my God. <laughs> so, you, do, they know know the, <laughs> do they know that the fart sounds I've made are uh, fake? Yes, yes. I, right. I've made sure of that. Hello, Gabriel. Gabriel. I'll get over to Darsford, too. That's a good one. But Geelong's the best. Yeah, so long's got the, the most stuff in it that I like. Cabinets full of old vintage stuff, like Master Universe and that. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. So have we cleared up the whole fake fart sound? Because people will think that I'm Captain Gas. Well, if, uh, if it had been actually like real gas, I would have been choking. Because So to prove the point. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you can stop now. Stop. Oh. Just so people know. Because we go to the supermarket and stuff, and my wife will be lining up oh, to get on, groceries. Hang on, hop in the back, right there. Yeah, there he is. And the riddler is falling over, isn't he? Um, so we'll be at the supermarket lined up at the register, <laughs> and my wife will have all her stuff. And as soon as the lady or the guy who's at the register sort of turns away, I just go, <laughs> I go, oh, least for God's sake, not here. And she can't help it. My wife's face just goes like bright red. It's going yeah, over she gets really embarrassed. Yeah, and then we Funny. get outside and scream, get in the car! <laughs> okay, so that is a cool pop. Yeah. So he's basically, and I'm probably going to get comments here because I can't believe, they can't believe I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But does that mean, <laughs> is he a, like a devil? He's a, he's a demon. He's depicted like the demon or a devil. Yeah. Those children don't look very happy. So how can I write to this guy and say, you need to come here and get two children? Just say they're very chubby and they look very tasty. Yeah, cool. Show me what else you got. <laughs> this is our dress. Give me the Jack Torrance one, please. Have you seen? The hey, I'll swap because I've got two hands and two things yeah. and it just came out of me. Have you seen the movie The Shining or are you too much of a wuss? Chelsea doesn't know how old I am. Of course I've seen The Shining. Is it, is it really scary? Red rum, red rum. What does red rum mean? Murder backwards. Oh, hooray. Yeah, he loses his mind. He's writing, right. he's writing a book, but he's not really writing a book. Okay. What? He's just typing the same thing over and over. Yeah. You watch. Comment what he types. Something yeah. Of it. <laughs> the riddle, the riddle. Louis, I know you watch. The riddle. If you're typing it now, what he's typing, you watch. What he's typing, red rum. He's a dull boy. You just type it. You watch someone will type it. It'll come up. Where is it red rum? No, he doesn't type red rum. Is it? But I like this one because it's got the blood in there. Yeah, yeah, and the one from the uh, from the Exorcist, Regan from the Exorcist. Did you get Regan from the Exorcist? No, I didn't get Regan. Did you Exorcist. get an Invisible Man? Yes, I got the Invisible Man. <laughs> oh, an invisible Man. Invisible man. How does she get? Oh, you got three it pops as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I got two it pops. One straight of things. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. They're, all... <laughs> they're all saying that I should. Well, we should try to glitter the demo wall. Kill it. So How about can... we set him on fire and see how he can watch him melt? That'd be cool. Let's fill him full. That's of, what he deserves. Let's fill him full of black powder and watch his head explode. Oh, and then I got. Oh man, Universal Monsters. They were my favourite <coughs> line apart from Who Man. Yeah? Yeah. Really? I've got some right there, huh? Yeah, but they're. Okay. They're for sale, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you just. 
what is today? What is today? Well, here we in Australia. We live in the future, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do live in the future. It's uh, Saturday morning. Come on, coffee. Back yeah. Please. No, it's my coffee now. Yeah, so it's um, 9 a.m. Saturday morning here. Yeah. Father's Day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I better get looked after. I'm going to go mental. Well, I'm going to cook you a big breakfast and I'm going to, we've got a truckload of stuff. So, is there any He Man stuff? Perhaps. Is there lots of He Man stuff? Perhaps. That's okay. Perhaps. That's okay. <laughs> so, we bought your Castle Grace Gold, though, as a they did. early Father's they did. Day present. 38 years I've been waiting to get that. So, when I was like, Seven or eight or something like that. And so, it came out. So like way back in nineteen. Yeah, come on, mathematical genius. Nineteen twenty-two. Um, that old. All I wanted was a Master Universe Castle Grayskull, which is over there. You've probably seen already. Yeah, you've um, seen it. But I come from a large family, so obviously money wasn't a great. Like we didn't have heaps of it, oh, so man. Castle Grayskull was like um Sweet something that was just way out of reach for us. Yeah. And it wasn't. So thirty-eight years later, I finally got one. And then I customised the shit out of it and upset yeah. half the world because it was a vintage one. <laughs> you basically did. But I always looked at it when I was a kid and I thought the paint was terrible. I just remember looking at it thinking. But even as a little boy, you went, oh, that's Yeah, even when I was a little boy because I used to do so much art. And I looked at it when I was a boy in the box. I remember seeing one in Target. It was in the box. Looking at it and thinking it's all, it was like somebody got the front of it. Like, can you turn it around, Jay? Wee. Stop. And if you go on the website, and vintage MOTU fans like me will know, it was like this dark green here, and then it was like someone got an airbrush and went Shh, through the guts. Shh, they're all different. But it was just like some, it was like the guy in the back office decided he was going to put a bit of black on it because it was too green. Yeah. And they were awful paint jobs. And I always thought, okay, Castle Grey Skull has got grey in its name and the bloody thing's green. That doesn't make sense. So I liked how I looked. I'm going for mine for as a grey green, and I'm really dark at the bottom because it's like you got to think about it, it's a castle over the years of be sediment and stuff, yeah, getting hit all up the bottom and whatever else. Hello, Kato. How are you? Kato does stuff. But my castle grey skull is going to be a bit different. It's yeah. going in the cabinet behind us, and I'm going to trick it out a bit. It's going to have lights right, and where all this stuff is. Currently. Sound cards and all sorts of stuff in it. So um, it's going to take quite a while, but I'm yeah. actually going to paint some of it today. Yeah, you're doing it today. Yeah, once I mow the lawns and stuff, I'm going to paint some of it today, yes. Oh, yeah, little miss came in. Did she? Yeah, she was sitting on my knee. Everyone's just like, she's so cute. And I'm like, yeah. No, I don't know it. No. She no. might be cute, but she's a she's a Krampus inside. Yeah, she is a Krampus. She's a Krampus. I changed my name. Oh. <laughs> in a minute. What's up? Gabrielle, for me, it's 6 p.m. in Alabama. Alabama. Oh, yeah, okay. So Alabama is in where? In Sweet Home, Bay, Alabama. Uh, it's not South Carolina or North Carolina or anywhere like that, is it? We probably sound like we have no idea. Well, we don't. We're on the yeah. other side of the world. We know yeah. some. Like, yeah, we, I like. I if, we've got a really close friend that lives in North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he'd be the same time, I reckon. He'd be 6 o'clock over there too. Alabama is a seat. Sorry. I don't want to yeah, find anybody. We don't know shit about states over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't know. So what's the capital city of Alabama? You ask me these questions about Australia all the time and well, I always know, get them wrong. You need to know your own country, love. That's where you live. But it's good to learn other things about other people's countries, isn't um, it? I know my own country pretty well. We're full of buffalo bills. We wear singlets in the summer and flip-flops off. Yeah, and our sun will give you cancer as soon as you step in oh, it. Oh, God. Like, Everything over here wants to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Don't we have like eight out of the ten most venomous snakes? snakes? King of Funko. I live in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's where our buddy's from. He's from Asheville. Asheville. Oh. <laughs> Just punched the back of the chair. You did. I'm like, did you want my attention or something? Mm -hmm. West of Carolina, South, you're in. British Columbia, Canada. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So what's the time up there? Up in Canada. That's where Ricky comes from. He does. Ricky, Julian and Bubbles. <laughs> Do, do, you, do you want to talk to him about Charlie Popwest? No, not really. Because <laughs> you shouldn't be watching it. No, I probably shouldn't. But It's 4.03 then... p.m. Okay, well, what a massive difference. Okay. Yeah. So is Kilo still on? You'd be nearly the same time, would you, I reckon? Sure. Yeah, you said at the start it was like fine. I'm from Gastonia. Gastonia. Ooh, fancy. 
I'm gonna have to look that up. You're not trying to trick me, are you? <laughs> That's like, I could be like, I'm from the moon. I'm hang on a moon. <laughs> What's with that cap backwards? Oh, bad hair. You're not a surfer dude, though. I can be today. Kawabunga. I've never seen you get try to get on a surfboard. Uh, I six, did when I was younger, but I hate the ocean. Everything in the freaking ocean bites, and you've seen what happens when I get in the ocean. Yep, okay. Oh, 29 degrees, that's lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Kilo, okay, so it's 6 o'clock as well. All oh, right, okay. That's good, that's good. And there's summertime over there, and the in kids the have all just gone back to school. The weather is fine. <laughs> and you're just about to go off school. Yeah, in three, three weeks? Yeah, three weeks. Uh, did I tell you all about my school concert coming up? Oh, fun. They um, were in the Midwest. Oh, yeah, Gastonia City is North Carolina. Oh, cool. 71,741 people in 2010. They increased to 75,536 in 2016. Wow. Mm. In cool, Melbourne. that's cool to know. <laughs> yeah, in Melbourne it's like 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's cold. Lucky the Freezing. sun's out, yeah. Yeah, without the sun, God. Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't know. Oh, so you're not far from Dallas. Is that right? It wouldn't be the Dallas I'm thinking of, surely. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's cool. So many little towns in that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. You're just little towns you've never heard of. Mount Holly. Oh, cool. Hickory. Hickory, dickory, dog. <laughs> We've actually been trying to... Is it to... too fancy? It's full of run-down buildings. Uh, well, you can only get some cool photos. Oh, yeah. Well, where we live, it's not not very pretty either. Do you know what I was thinking we should do? Why? Miss J? Why? Well, once you do your giveaway, and if you told them to all go to your video and do it, Texas was like 103 degrees dry heat in my area. So I reckon 103 degrees, Louis, would be about 42 oh, yeah. here because we're Celsius. Yeah, and you guys are, oh, what are they, Fahrenheit? Yeah, so I'll see if I can do it. They're probably all doing it now. Yeah. Degrees to Fahrenheit. Celsius. What, degrees to Celsius? Yeah, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, so what did Louis say? It's 103. Can you imagine if it was 103 degrees? Yeah, it's 39 here. So, yeah, it's nice oh, that's, and warm, that's, bud. That's good weather. That's really good. Now, what? have you, you would have seen, because, Taddy Toyana's been doing it, and Louis's been doing it, and now bloody Kilo's doing it. They're all going to GameStop, which we don't have, yeah, which is frustrating as shit, and they're buying figures like... Um, <laughs> I've got one, I'm sure. Hang on. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> oh, Dad, stop it. This is the box. But they're buying figures like this yeah, for right. $5. When you paid... 50. No, that was 45 Australian. And but they're the things I love to collect. Yeah, Australia doesn't have games. Like yeah, mate, we know. Oh, Still me head in. And EB, like, EB Games is like the Australian version of GameStop Ace. So, like, Louis's got a bag of these and it cost him 50 bucks US. When one of them and I got one. <laughs> I know there's an exchange rate difference, right? In cost. Yeah, see, I'll put my haul on my Instagram here later from games. Yeah, see, you've got heaps. And Teddy Twain got bloody heaps, and now Kilo's getting them. Oh, man, we have EB Games. You don't have GameStop either. Uh, you see, like, if you were top pops, you'd be fine because you just quickly cross the border and go and get them. Yeah. So Tristan just shoots across the border. He's all right. But if you're not near the border, you're bugging. Yeah. You've got so to I, I can't remember. Might have been Teddy Toy Hunter. Yeah, EB Games is still good, but it's nowhere near as good as games. Got three troopers. I oh, see, look, three troopers for $15. I have to say, for a month to buy one. Exactly. So well, I mean, you have next to no money all the time. No, so. I've got kids that are just like funnels for money. Yes. Um, what well, I was going to say, so I was watching on Kev's video. Yeah. And there was a Red Hulk I've never seen here. Yeah. There was Beast here uh, I've never the, seen here. The blue, blue Beast? Yeah. I want, yeah, the, yeah. I want the Blue Beast. I can't find him. I've seen him online. Um, I'm near the border. What else is a Red Hulk was just awesome for five freaking dollars. On the opposite side, Chris from Tristan. Ah, okay. I'm broke too. That's why I'm ha I was happy with the sale. Yeah, man. Yeah. But you guys have pop culture. But they never have sales like you guys get. No. Never. 
They do have that three for fifty deal, which is oh, good. Like, no. Well, three pops for fifty bucks ain't bad. No, like we're talking about these, right? They never have stuff like this on sale ever. No, no. that's a, never. That's a known fact. So, and actually, we've noticed lately that prices of pops are starting to go up. So, here's a good question for you guys over there, because I don't collect pops anymore. But um, the ones like, can you pass me that one down? Which one? Yeah. Oh, these two beautiful things. Right. So, so for example, this one is a 2018 yes. Summer Convention exclusive. So this would be San Diego Comic Con last year. Yes. So this is just a common pop. There's nothing flash about it. It's just be got careful a careful with them. They're pretty. It's just got a sticker on it. Um, so pretty. this would be standard, like because it's a standard size pop. Yeah. This would be in Australia's prices would be $19. Yes. Correct. But because it's got that on it. It's twenty five. Oh yeah, but that, that's just the wow. Normal, but that's just the normal price for SDCC pops. Yeah, but why is it? Why does it have to be a normal price? They're common. They get because it's not like you're getting them because the convention has different stickers. In Melbourne, we don't have pop culture, but in Geelong, yep, yeah, we basically live at the Geelong pop culture, don't we? Well, I do. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you are. But what I'm saying is, right? It doesn't have the actual con sticker. It doesn't have. Like that one, up, Superman up there, right? Yeah, the Superman. Place. It's just got a bullshit sticker on it, and we're paying six dollars more for it. It's only six dollars, Jesus. You're not getting the point. So, in I slowed down on pop clicking as well. I only picked something I must have. Yeah, I I bought Papa Emeralds from Ghost it's yesterday. So cool. That's one only one I bought this year. Um, oh no, I know I found Manhattan, but that was at a sale. Um. So, yeah, I want to know, in America, do you guys pay more money for basic pops with a sticker on them like that? Or is it standard price for all? Because I think we get scammed here. We don't get scammed because they're the SDCC pops. You're, they... not, you're not missing the point, mate. They're not the SDCC pops. The SDCC pops have got the proper convention sticker on them. They've just got a random sticker. It's like that stupid special one you would get. Oh, that, that special edition one. If I'm called loving that at the moment. It's okay, so... Valve's telling me, yeah, we do pay more for the shared sticker too. Okay, so we're not getting scammed. That's a good thing because oh. I never understood the principle behind it because they're not anything fancy. But like, pay can pay them. They're so cute. That's for sale. Anyone want to buy? Oh, yeah. Anyone want to buy this? <laughs> can I buy it? So, so what I was getting back to yeah. is once you do your uh, giveaway, yeah. and I'm sure you've told everyone to go and do this for me, yeah, I've told them the times. Also, guys, on my YouTube channel, uh, there is a video explaining in further detail how you can enter the giveaway uh, and then what I'm giving away. So go and check that out, guys, if you haven't already. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yours are the same as us then. Okay, thanks, Kilo. Thanks, Val. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you're going to get it, that's the sticky one. Yeah. So getting back to my point. How about once you give away your three pops? Yeah. Why don't you pick one of these ones you got in your mystery box today that people may want, and we can ask which one's the most popular, except for Georgie, because I know you don't have that. No, except for Georgie and Krampus. I'm not giving away Krampus. Okay, well, calm the farm. And we'll have a photography competition on Instagram. Yeah. And they tag like Funko J Photo as the hashtag, and we'll pick a time, and then me being a photographer, we'll pick the winner. What do you at think? my GameStop, buy, wait, get the. At my GameStop, pops are buy three get one free. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Actually, the best we can get here is pop culture is three, three for 50. fifty Australian dollars or seven for a hundred Australian dollars. I think is the best. You'd have to convert that to your own coin. That's not. It's not terrible though. Like three pops for fifty dollars. That's pretty good. But in this mystery box, same price. You got six pops. Yeah, what do you think of your mystery box? I really like it. I've got, I've got three pops that I already have, but then um, I've got the Invisible Man, Jack from The Shining, and Krampus. So, oh, sorry, no. What a shame you didn't get like a Freddy Krueger or a Jason or yeah. a Michael Myers or something. I was like. hoping for Michael Myers. I know I haven't seen the movie yet because Mum won't let me. No, fair enough. Yeah, I've got an Invisible Man. He's right there. I'm the Invisible Man. He's over there somewhere. <laughs> 